so hello and welcome friends uh, in this video uh, in this video we are going to see the application overview which we have developed in oh, this entire series so this is the spring boot api which i am using in that uh, all the request mapping is here like a get uh, we need to pass the get http get method uh, and with the mapping as the employees then we'll get the get all employee details and if we pass the id then uh, we'll get the employees by id employee by id then if we, we need to add any entry then we need to post the request on the same uh, url mapping employees to add new employee and put for uh, like uh, update uh, we need to pass the id and delete for id delete with id for deleting employee okay so this is the ionic app which we have made in this entire video series now the first one let me refresh it so while refreshing it will uh, call the like uh, we have set it uh, we, we have already set the route home route to the front page which is the employee details page okay so it will load the employee details page and employee details page we have uh, this this is one the employee page.html file in that uh, what we have done uh, like uh, we have added the i1 refresher content and in that uh, we are calling the do refresh function and then we have added uh, one uh, add employee like plus button to add employee and uh, while on the routing of that we are calling the add employee page.html file then uh, we are getting the employee list from the back end uh, and we are iterating it one by one using employee and uh, then for updating we have created the router link and in that we are passing the employee with id and for deleting we have created a function which is the and we are passing the employee id on that function okay so now come to the add imp like uh, for everything this employee that employee name for this also we have created a class uh, this class is uh, this one employee model dot es in that we have already defined the emp id emp name and depth name so and this is my employee service dot ts which we have created in that uh, we have the url url here then get all employee to get all the employee details so http get method and we are just passing the url then add employee we are we are putting the post method with we are passing the employee object and then update employee then update employee we are passing the employee id and with the emp object with http put method and for delete we are calling the http delete method with in that we are passing the id also so after that like uh, on the uh, to show all the employee details on the front page what we have done uh, in employee details page.ts file we are calling on ng unit we are calling the function load all so load all function is calling the get all fun get all employee from the service class and uh, it is putting it it is uh, getting all the details in the emp list and emp list we are setting in the this dot emp list and this emp list we are iterating on the add employee page dot html file one by one we are iterating this emp list sorry this is employee details page dot html file we are iterating one by one okay so whenever i am clicking on the add employee page my routing are i have defined the routing to get to get it uh, like uh, whenever the route will come for add employee it will load the add employee page so add employee page is here and in that uh, we have used uh, angular thing so like uh, it will call the save method and read only required required and emp dot uh, this emp name emp dot department name emp dot emp id this everything is coming from the add employee page dot ts okay so you can see here that an ng unit we have uh, initialized the object of the employee and we are checking like uh, if it is id is null or not to identify the request is for update or add employee details 
like in update we are passing the id but uh, in adding we are not passing the id so if we are passing the id also then we are calling the function get all get imply by id and in that we are passing the id to get the imply by id and we are showing them to the front page uh, while clicking on the update button okay so this feature is implemented uh, here get imply by id and uh, then for saving it uh, we are calling the function like we need to identify it is for save method or is it for the update method so we are checking if the id is undefined then it is for the add employee if it is not undefined if id has some value then it is for update employee function like this we are identifying this thing and uh, for delete also like we have called the just we just call the function so function will ask for the confirmation like if you want to delete or not if you want to delete then it will delete if you click on the agree then it will delete it otherwise it will uh, not delete it so on on agree button on i click on agree we are calling the delete employee function from the service method and we are passing the id also okay so let me show you the overview last one so just so this is the details we are getting from the spring boot rest api you can see it is already running on the back end and i will share the link of this uh, entire series and entire video like uh, how to this how this application is working and how to set up in the tomcat server how to deploy it okay so uh, now click on the edit button we are getting the first uh, thing like this and you can see the employee id as null so i'm passing the data and uh, this is as department as the computer and while save it though insert save method details added for govind you can see the toast here also and if you go in the console then you can see add employee using the post saving it employed it successfully but it is not coming here so we need to refresh it so after refreshing we are getting 21 value and you will see the govind is added here so if you want to change the update the details then update details call the get uh, employee by id and it will update uh, for updating the data we can update it here so let me change the name as goro and uh, department let it be the computer only and save it so inside service updating details inside update method you can see the console also and uh, just refresh it so you will get the updated data okay employee details are loaded successfully and goro belongs to computer now for deleting data you just need to click on the delete button it will ask for the agree or disagree uh, this code you can see here I employ details page dot html in that uh, we are calling the function delete employee and delete employee we have to find uh, the on the add employee uh, like uh, delete employee page dot ts file okay so uh, like this it is working and uh, for deleting it just press on agree it will delete so it is 21 now earlier it is 21 now just refresh it now it will be 20 only okay now if you want to delete another one just uh, click on the delete button agree and it will be 19 okay and if you don't want to delete just click on like disagree so it will not delete so this is the application overview if you have any doubt then uh, put in the comment section i will definitely reply on that and try to resolve it and please subscribe to my channel friends thank you